South Carolina's historically black colleges and universities are also getting some of the emergency education relief funds. 7 News reporter George Ray Godfrey has more details on the money and how it will be spent. Benedict College is just one of the eight historically black colleges and universities in South Carolina that's set to get some federal funding for their response to the coronavirus. COVID-19 has impacted education in the state since March. At the state's colleges and universities, students were sent home and coursework put online. The momentum was no different at the state's eight historically black colleges and universities. And we very quickly got into the stage where we needed to give the students the extra week uh, and then convert to 100% uh, or remote delivery for our classes. HBCUs traditionally have smaller student populations and smaller budgets in comparison to predominantly white colleges and universities. Because of their history in the state, many are located in rural areas. But when you add in COVID-19, additional challenges arise. All of us need more investment in infrastructure, period. Well, all the students were challenged by the fact that a lot of them come from homes in which they do not have a lot of computers. And then on top of that, now add the, the internet services that are ne necessary, whether you're in an urban community or in a rural community. Governor Henry McMaster yes, recently was, allocated $2.4 million to the HBCUs to assist students impacted by COVID-19 and to improve e-learning resources in an effort to adapt to the new campus life. Direct impact of having to um, go back home, have to travel, um, and the cost of, of, of packing up and going home, um, some costs that uh, pertain to some students might have to upgrade their equipment. Most of that is hardware and software that allows for delivery, licensing, and all of those things. Um, but in some cases, it will be for um, you know laptops and hotspots for those students with a very specific need. A total of $2.4 million is being distributed among the eight HBCUs in the state based on student enrollment and the number of Pell Grant recipients. In Columbia, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. Well, we got some slightly 